Oakland, California, meeting with what might seem an unlikely group of marijuana users, senior citizens. Senior citizens are the fastest growing and largest demographic in the field of cannabis for so many reasons. Today we're going to meet with medical practitioners, educators, outreach, and pioneers who are helping bring these medicines to the senior citizen community. We are at what might be the coolest party ever, the East Bay Senior Cannabis Social Club. The things we were told would harm us are actually proving to do the opposite. Drugs like MDMA, mushrooms, marijuana, LSD, and ayahuasca are helping resolve serious mental issues. Join us as we explore for ourselves the healing powers of weed, psychedelics, and other mindful practices. The East Bay Senior Cannabis Social Club started in March 2017 as a monthly meetup for seniors to talk shop, share weed ingestion tips and experiences, smoke some pot, and have a good time. <laughs> but right now you're having a combination of different mm -hmm. herbs. Like this is a blueberry muffin and probably some kush Ooh. and oh, then yeah, some so other stuff. Really indica. Okay. Exactly. This is representative of a larger growing mental shift among folks in their age group who would like to be less reliant on prescription medicines and more connected to a natural way of life. One day when I was still smoking and I was driving across the bridge um, and all of a sudden I realized I was relaxed. And that's when I shifted from getting high to getting medicated, personally. My whole mindset changed on it, and I became much more aware of what the medical benefit of it could be. And then I started meeting people who were much more engaged in the medical world, and the advocacy world, and that's when I just said, this is where I need to be. I haven't been practicing for a long time nursing until I saw this um, photo in my local newspaper of a nurse teaching um, senior citizens at a retirement community about cannabis. And I went, oh my gosh, this is like really legitimizing it. And I was just so curious, and then I started going to conferences, meetings, uh, these kinds of groups to learn as much as I can. Plant-based medicines, non-toxic plant-based medicines, are alive and well, and it's just us creating more awareness and education around them, so it feels safer um, to use them. So we have a, a mission ahead of us, but I think it's, it's a worthy one. So my name is Barbara Blazer, and I'm an RN with 50 years experience in the RN field. I actually retired a couple of years ago after being the director of a hospice. And while I was at the hospice, I saw lots of patients who really appeared to be suffering with end of life things. And I would see them on Friday and they'd be devastated and I'd see them on Monday and they would be more upbeat and they would have been visited by a grandson with brownies. And I began studying what the efficacy was in treating seniors and I got offered the opportunity to become a patient advocate at Magnolia Wellness here in Oakland. About five, six years ago, I took three antidepressants a day and washed it down with a bottle of wine every night. And then took sleeping pills on top of that and weighed about 200 pounds more than I do right now. And slowly, I weaned myself off and started doing edibles. I'm an edibles girl. And um, to, I'm happy to say today, I don't take anything. No antidepressants, no pharmaceuticals, only marijuana. So just to clarify, you actually retired from the hospice. Yes. Took time off and then went on to go back into the field because... I, well, I actually got critically seriously ill. Mm -hmm. and had some major surgery and it went bad. Um, the doctor, who I dearly love, poked a hole in my intestinal tract. I ended up with septicemia in a coma for weeks, lost all my hair, had to relearn to walk. And in that six months, I spent a lot of time reading about medical marijuana. I came to believe that cannabis offered the opportunity to age at home successfully, mm. get back into the garden, see my grandkids, mm. and enjoy life more. And for the seniors that we see, 40% well, of our patients are seniors, that's what they wanna do. Something that I feel really impassioned about is bringing seniors into the cannabis community, allowing them to speak to practitioners, um, creating education for them so that the stigma can get demystified in a way that is comfortable for them. The thing is, most of these guys grew up during the reefer madness era and the war on drugs. So it's taken a lot of outreach and education to dispel the false myths that kept the medicine illegal for so long. 
the stigma against medical marijuana still exists, thank you, Nancy Reagan, but in seniors in particular, you know, I'm 71. I grew up believing Nancy Reagan. Oh my God, Nancy wouldn't lie to me, but she did. She lied to me. <laughs> I do still see quite a bit of resistance, you know, because 90% of them have never used it before. Uh, a lot of them come to me desperate, sort of everything, they've tried everything else, nothing else has worked. And so they're very um, sort of disgusted in some cases that they've resorted to marijuana. People, you know, from, from our generation, we're so used to hiding our cannabis you know, and our cannabis use um, in the closet. And so this is a nice way to bring people out of the closet cannabis-wise into a social environment where we can sit around and smoke together, laugh together, eat together, and nobody's worried about what the person next to them might think about that. Seniors benefit so much from cannabis as they age for sleep, for pain, for mood elevation, for community, for bonding. I mean, cannabis is an incredible bonding plant. What we found is that a lot of folks started coming to the East Bay Senior Cannabis Social Club looking for a healthy change in their lives. And what they got was a lot more. They found a community of like-minded individuals to share their experiences with, and for some, a real sense of community and even family. We're smoking a joint together, we're swapping spit, we're family. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's, it's truly a miraculous plant and there are no side effects except you might have a really good time and you might eat a little more than you should. Right? Can I get some crumbles? I'm the hostess, I'll have some crumbles.